Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry. And if you're a returning guest, hi guys, good to see you. My friend Lindsay and I, hello, are here to enjoy all things flower and garden today. Flower and Garden Festival lasts through July 5th. We're gonna be taking advantage of absolutely everything the festival has to offer today, beginning with the butterfly garden and then heading over to the Scentsy Garden where we can smell all of the delicious fresh smells. We came to go to the butterfly garden but then we saw Winnie the Pooh playing with butterflies or trying to catch butterflies out in the garden area over here so we had to come by and say hello. Hi Winnie! Yeah. How many butterflies have you caught today? One? Oh my gosh that's amazing! Was it a big one? Yeah? Oh, ex oh wow! <laughs> A really big one. <laughs> oh, that's so exciting. In the butterfly garden, there are all of these different types of flowers and plants that attract different types of butterflies. And oh, wow. So much fun. If you stand still, sometimes they land on you. I didn't get anyone to land on me, but the girl in front of me had several land on her hand that she was able to like walk around with, which was really cool. What a beautiful place. It's so peaceful in there too. They play like this really nice like ambiance music and you get to like watch all of the butterflies. It was so much fun. And there were so many common butterflies for my animal crossing people out there. I was like, oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> Uh, so many common butterflies. <laughs> so many. <laughs> Blathers would probably be disappointed in us, but that's okay. <laughs> we have made it to the Blossoms of Fragrance presented by Scentsy. And so of all five senses, scent is the most strongly connected to memory. So they have all these little stations where you can smell the different flowers. Ooh! Oh, it smells so good. Have you smelled? Yeah. So visitors of Hawaii are often welcomed with a traditional flower lay of plumeria. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Can you smell it? I can. Woo, that's nice. Look at these really beauty, beautiful butterfly topiary. And then there's Plumeria. Right there, that's what we were smelling. I wish there was smell vision so you guys could smell. It smells lovely. And then the next scent that we have is the Heirloom Rose. And here it is. Oh gosh, yes. Oh, that smells so nice. More than 300 species, the elegant rose is an international symbol of love and friendship. Moving right along to the center, pineapple mango. I can't really smell this one. Oh, there we go. Yes, pineapple mango, we love her. Ooh, and then we've got some citrus scents. We've got some key lime, lemon. Oh look, we've got tiny lemons. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. There's another little tiny lemon right there. Beautiful. A butterfly, I love these topiaries, they're so pretty. And moving right along, we've got the smell of sun-kissed citrus. Oh yes, smells just like oranges. And then here we've got Tiny little oranges, look, they're blossoming. Oh my gosh, they're so very cute. So here they are, not quite ripe yet, but they are about the size of like a little bouncy ball. And then here's all of the fresh area. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful this lavender is. <gasps> She's stunning. This is also really stunning. This reminds me of Alaska. We've got mint. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. Yummy smell of mint. The crisp scent of mint goes hand in hand with the feeling of springtime. This fragrant herb can conjure up delight of discovering the first seedlings of the season while evoking memories of peppermint candies, sweet tea, and spearmint gum. 
And then here's actually some spearmint. Look how beautiful these leaves are. Stunning. Oh, this is one of my most favorite scents. My husband's favorite scent ever. This is lavender scent. And oh, it smells so good. Basically everything in our home is lavender scented, like from the soaps to the air fresheners, you name it. My husband just loves that scent so much. The word lavender comes from the Latin verb lavar, which means to wash. Oh, I didn't know that. So it's no wonder why this herbaceous fragrance is infused with memories of warm baths, spas, and relaxation. It smells so good. Oh, these colors are my colors right here. I love it. We are slowly making our way around the world showcase. But it's before 11 and nothing actually opens before 11 so we got a little lightning lane for frozen because it's one of our favorite rides so we're gonna go on frozen and then hopefully everything will be open by the time that we get out <laughs> booth of the festival is going to be the Lotus House which is in the China Pavilion. Now I got my favorite bubble tea. This is here all year round so like there's nothing special about this but it's like one of my most favorite drinks. If you're looking for something like creamy and refreshing and delicious that is your that's the name of the game. It's got like tapioca bubbles at the bottom and then we got these beautiful vegetable dumplings as well as these cheesy crab wontons that we're gonna try Lindsay got the kung fu what was it called do you remember kung fu master mm -hmm. how is it good yeah mango and I don't know what else is in there <laughs> well you said you can't take the, taste the alcohol yeah so, <laughs> so be careful with that <laughs> my name is Lindsay and this is me on my first <laughs> hey our first taste of the vegetable dumplings at sea Hmm. So the vegetable dumplings are interesting. Mm, I'm not sure if I would order them again. Um, the dumpling is really good, but like the inside is just like a mushy vegetable. Like I can't really like distinctively tell you what type of vegetable is inside. Um, it's not that it's bad. It's just, um, I thought I would be able to tell what kind of vegetables are inside. It's just very mushy. Mm, I'm going to give this Ooh, we need to come up with a rating system. What's our rating system? Mm. <laughs> what about beautiful butterflies when you do a Heimlich? Oh, well, water chestnut. I love a water chestnut. Okay, the second bite was a little bit better. I'm gonna give it three beautiful butterflies out of five. Three out of five. Is there any way to go wrong with crab rangoon? I mean, let's try it. The cream cheese is super smooth. You can taste the crab inside. Also, the sweet chili sauce is a little bit more spicy than normal. It, this is delicious. That is so, so good. I would say five out of five beautiful butterflies for this one. I would highly, highly suggest getting this. I actually think I'm gonna eat the entire dish. Oh my gosh, chef's kiss, so good. So here at the outpost, they have a pineapple skewer that I must have. Okay, so I mean, you can't really go wrong with pineapple and tahini or tahini on anything really, so let's try it. Pineapple is like super fresh and delicious. I have to say though, I think I'd prefer if it was mango. I'm gonna give it like a four out of five just because I know mango and tahini together are so amazing. So still a really good refreshing snack and also a healthy snack if you're looking for some healthy options at Flower and Garden. Lindsay, thoughts on your drink? 
super good four out of five four out of five it's so beautiful i mean five out of five for beauty though it's super super good she's a beauty queen so right past the outpost there's a little festival market and i can show you the little some of the merchandise available for the festival it's all this like really fun vintagey looking orange bird style items it's just a wall hanging this planter is super duper cute Other festival mascot, Snow White. Those are really pretty, actually. And then there's the shirt that goes with it. Little wishing well planter. interesting I expected it to be better than it was I'm gonna give it a three and a half out of five it's a little bit dry and also there was no cheese that left inside of the pastry itself it all like baked out and then um, the berries were like crushed up and had um, probably been sitting for a little while so mm, not the best I think you could definitely skip that one and get a better dessert at another booth for sure Okay, I don't know if you guys have seen that movie, Inglorious Bastards, but I feel like we had like one of those moments when we were at the Italian booth. <laughs> Lindsay and I were uh, trying to pronounce really anything, and those poor gentlemen at the booth were so kind to us. Um, but I didn't know how to say worms and dirt, um, and so they were like, yeah, and then they pronounced it in Italian, and I said, grazie. So here we are. How's your Italian margarita? Good. Cheers. Well, how many, how many numbers, how many better, beautiful butterflies? Oh, it's just like a slushy, a margarita slushy. I'm mm -hmm. not a big slushy kind of gal. <laughs> so like two? Yeah, probably two. Two or three. Two or three. Okay. But the people that took our order, five out of five. Five out of five. We'd like to just give them, give them a good old grazie. Thank you for taking care of us. This poor men. What little angels they were. But anyway, okay. So we got some pomodoro. It looks delicious. Those are like perfectly fried raviolis with delicious melted cheese inside and a really nice red sauce. Oh my gosh, so good. I think five out of five beautiful butterflies. That is a very impressive dish and it's so tasty. Possibly the cutest dessert <laughs> is like a chocolate cake and a hazelnut um, and chocolate pudding with a gummy worm. Let's try it out. Whoa. <laughs> that is like a super duper thick custard and it's really not that sweet, which is really nice and neither is the cake portion. Mm. It's super good. I think I'm going to give it a four out of five beautiful butterflies. That one's really nice. And this one is definitely shareable because it is a little bit rich. So you don't want to like, you may not want it all to yourself. Um, I don't deal well with like super rich foods. So it's kind of nice to be able to have like a few bites and then call it good. Now, Lindsay does have a lot of allergies. So she actually did a mobile order to the America Pavilion because it's a little bit simpler for her to get like a substantial amount of food because a lot of the booths don't have a lot of things for her that she can have. So I'm headed towards the Regal Eagle, but we have a character Palooza going on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm booking it. I'm booking it for Goofy. Goofy, Goofy, Goofy. <laughs> Yay! Oh my heart, oh my heart. Oh, I haven't met him since we've been here. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, so let's go find Lindsay and her gluten-free bacon burger. There she is. Oh, I just love meeting Goofy. Okay, so we met Lindsay. Lindsay, how was your gluten-free, dairy-free burger? It was good. Good? Good. Good. The Regal Eagle has really amazing pickles too, so she was able to get a lot of pickles. 
We're in the America Pavilion right now, and there is a brand new topiary this year that happens to be Tiana, and it is one of the most beautiful topiaries ever. I can't wait to show it to you guys. Take a look at this. Our Guardian's virtual queue was called basically right when we um, got to the African outpost. It's been a little over an hour, so we're gonna hope that they're gonna let us on still. We decided to ride the friendship boat from Morocco back over to the Canada Pavilion so we could save a few steps because it is really far to walk. And hopefully when we get there, they'll actually let us in the virtual queue. It is so dead today, so I don't see why they wouldn't. Um, but we're gonna go ride Guardians and then get back to all the festivities of Flower and Garden and fingers crossed, we're gonna get September because we still have not gotten the song September. It's the only one left, so fingers crossed. Woman in the gap. The metal lumberings and algae clusters scattered throughout. Our power's out. And the cosmic generator is gone. Cheer your mark. Go to Code Red. Prepare the fleet. And call the garden. Now. There is no cause for alarm. <laughs> Turn off that alarm. Let's I've got an important transmission coming in. Hey, what's up, Novacorp? Our cosmic generator has been stolen. What? How? Why didn't we think of that? That thing's got to be worth a fortune. I am Groot. Right in front of you. Okay, okay. on September. Well? Okay, I've walked on to your vehicles. We'll be right behind you. Nothing to worry about. We'll okay. see you not stop this unusually large man. And you're likely doomed. Yes. Good luck. You get a knee. So, do you really think they deserve to be called heroes? And do you see how they dress? It's just... Wow, those Encanto topiaries were insanely beautiful. Today is like the most perfect day in Epcot. Lindsay's waving at us. <laughs> it's like 75 degrees and perfection. So we got conga, which isn't terrible. It was still a fun, still a fun song for that ride. I mean, any song is good for that ride. The ride is amazing. We're headed down to go on Soren before we head back to the World Showcase because this may be one of the last rides we get to do in Epcot today, so we might as well. Have a nice flight. Thank you so much. We soared, we flied, we did all the things, took a little break for rides, and now we're headed back to the World Showcase to kind of finish out the rest of the countries. But before we head over to Canada, we're going to stop at the Pineapple Promenade because 
You have to have a Violet Lemonade if you are coming to Disney during Flower and Garden. It's like such a popular delicious drink. So we're gonna go get some delicious Violet Lemonade. Cheers. The best part of us. Mmm. Lindsay, what'd you get? Um, some green tea, vodka, lime, hibiscus thing, I think. Is it good? It's really good. Really nice. good. How many, how many beautiful butterflies? Four out of five. Four out of five. Nice. I'm going to say five out of five. This is my favorite drink. It's really refreshing and really nice. It's really tart, cold, delicious, refreshing, all the things. This is a definite if you come to Flower and Garden. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay's got some whiskey and cereal going on. Mine is <laughs> maple shake. Um, this is so good. We had this last year. It was so nice. It's the beef, beef tips and mashed potatoes and carrots. So tri-dip is actually really good. The mushrooms are good. The gravy is good. The carrots are good. The meat's good. It's a little bit chewy, but still really tasty. I'm going to give it four out of five. It's a really nice dish. And it's also on the healthy side too. So two thumbs up for that guy. The maple popcorn shake. I don't like it. Um, two out of five beautiful butterflies. I do not like it. It's like not very flavorful and watery at the same time. That's the best way to describe it. The popcorn on top is good, but it gets soggy quickly. Yeah, the pop popcorn's good. We'll give it that. croissant with goat cheese in it is probably the most delicious thing I've had ever. It's basically just your basic croissant but really crispy and lovely and flaky filled with goat cheese. If you're a goat cheese lover like myself, the goat cheese has a little bit of herbs inside of it which make it really 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 nice. Oh my gosh it's chef's kiss. It's so good. Well done Remy. <laughs> well done. I would give it 10 out of 5 <laughs> beautiful butterflies. It was so 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 good. <laughs> Ending on a super duper high note. Not only did we have a grilled cheese poise, 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 um, in France, which was incredible, we're then going to end on a frucci, which is another one of my most favorites from the festival. Again, if you're coming to the festival, this is what you get along with violet lemonade. And then if you like goat cheese, definitely get that croissant. So, Lindsay, what did you get? Pomegranate mimosa. How was that? Delicious. How many butterflies? Four out of five. Four out of five butterflies. Frucci, 10 out of five. The last two are really, really good. <laughs>